Da -na -na -na. I've breached security. I found myself a Tommy and Lefebvre shirt and uh, I'm about to invade this service shop here to uh, kind of give me a, a bit of a handle on how things work down here. Uh, Brad Randall, service coordinator for Tommy and Lefebvre Bank Street. How are you? Not too bad yourself. Good. What machine are we looking at? We're looking at Montana's Snow Cruiser. Uh, we got full base grind, sharpened edges. Good to go. This is high tech stuff. Yes, very high tech. Okay, start it up. All right, let's see what we can do. All right, what's the first thing it's gonna do? Uh, it's gonna pick up the skis, bring it across. We're gonna base grind everything, clean up the bases, get them a new structure. And how often should I be doing this? Can it be used for both skis and snowboard? Yeah, skis and snowboard should be done usually twice a year. In the fall for cold conditions, in the spring for warm conditions. Okay. You're gonna get the best out of your season that way. And then uh, what's all of this water that we're watching wash away down here? All that's coming out there is coolant so we don't burn the ski, burn your edges, keep everything looking good. Okay, and now is the number of times that this goes over the grinder constant or does it fluctuate with how uh, brutal it fluctu the skis are? Yeah, it fluctuates with how brutal they are and the finish that you want on them. Okay, yep. and then uh, after it finishes with the bottom, uh, will it do something to the sides you mentioned? Yeah, and when it's done with the bottom, it'll drop one ski down and we'll do both edges. Uh, side and base. It's one of the best edge grinds you can get. Okay. And why is it important to do this? Especially in eastern Canada, we got, we deal with ice constantly, so mm -hmm. sharp edges are very important around here. All right. So it's not just a snow, uh, the snow should be <laughs> yep. the snow cruiser. But what's this other uh, technology that you've got over here in the corner? Uh, what we've got over here is the Wax Future. Uh, it gives you the best possible wax job, the best penetration without being able to burn the bases because it uses an infrared light. Mm -hmm. uh, great job, even code every time. And what's so special about it? You mentioned there's only a few in North America? Yeah, uh, it's a new machine, new concept, and basically race teams can use it while the ski's still cold without cracking the base like you potentially would with using an iron. Okay, and how many did you say there are in North America, 10? Uh, if that, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's getting bigger, but we were the first to jump on it. And why did you want to invest in this kind of technology? Uh, we deal with a lot of race programs with Tommy and Lefebvre, and uh, we just got to keep with keep them competitive. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's head over here to the other uh, section. Mm -hmm. Now, growing up when I was snowboarding, I would drip wax over top of my, my snowboard yep. and then grind it off. Is that still done, or is that like an ancient art? Uh, it's still done, but now with a machine like that one, you can get a better job with less waste. So we tend to go that way. Okay, what if I, I, I love that, that old fashioned way and I want to drip wax with an iron and then grind it out myself. Do you yep. have all of the uh, things that I would need to be able to buy to oh, do yeah. that at home? Definitely, we still do it in the basement. People at home still do it all the time. We sell a lot of it. Okay, yep. and then what are the boys over here? I see a, a drill in action. Yeah, Zach's doing some installs for us right now, getting some skis going. Okay, so when you purchase a ski or a skis or a, a set of skis or a snowboard yep. and then your bindings, do you have to put them on a certain way depending on how people like to stand? Yeah, not really so much stand, but according to their height, weight, boot size, you got to set them up, get them riding properly. Okay, perfect. How many of you are on the team? Uh, typically six, fluctuates in and out, but usually we have three to six in the shop at all times. Awesome, okay, yep. so no matter what time of day I come in, I should be able to drop my stuff off and you guys will be able to give me. Yeah, we do an in by 10, out by five service. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Okay, well Brad, I really appreciate you letting me uh, crash the service station. Hopefully I haven't uh, created too much of a disturbance. No, no, we should be all right. All right, I'm gonna go upstairs and I think play dress up with some of the new clothes, take a look at some of the equipment. Nice, should be exciting. <laughs> yeah, so stay with us, we got more to come from Tommy Lefebvre on Bank Street later in the show.